Hey Aries, welcome to Vivid Vibration. My name is Christina. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, you all have some really rough energy that you're dealing with presently. Um, I think that you've been offered something that really just did not measure up to your expectations. I think that ultimately it became something that felt more like a like I'm bound to to a commitment that I don't really want to be committed to, right? Like it, it doesn't feel safe. It doesn't feel like I can flourish in this environment that I think that you previously thought you were going to really thrive in. Um, I say all of this because you have the fault line and the storm and the destroyer <laughs> and Thanatos, you know, and it's just kind of this idea that you are really just feeling confused and I want to say just like frustrated that it feels like everything that you're trying to accomplish just almost serves as like a point of contention. Um, you know, like there's really no right way to behave. Um, and so I feel like you're kind of coming into the reality of it, right? Because I think that what you thought you were getting is very different from what you actually received. Um, and you're really starting to understand that. Um, and I feel like Aries... In like the the silver lining kind of mentality of you know like there's a lot of shit that's going down and you're not really happy about it um, you know there is this this I feel like the seed of, of hope that as you're as you're moving away from these you know broken things as you're as you're starting to really see the reality of something that that almost served as a mirage you know I feel like you were offered something that was like it, it just, it wasn't a reality and you know, you're coming into that truth, but I don't get the feeling that it's, that it's deterring you. Um, I feel like it's almost giving you a little bit more hope and courage in yourself for being able to overcome and surpass and, you know, I mean like do all of these things, um, because your energy, you know, like that I'm feeling right now is not one of defeat so much as it is one of like an acknowledgement for what could not be, you know, it's like this idea of like, I, I know that that, that can't be right. Okay. Let's see what else we can get for my Aries. I hope y'all are doing well, having a wonderful holiday season. Thank you so much for joining me. My first YouTube video back to YouTube again. Um, I was away for about a year starting a new channel. So please, please, please give me a like, share and subscribe. Um, you know, share my video, get, get the word out there. Let's make this happen. You guys. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Little promo. Um, we also got the three of wands here for you all. Three of wands for me is like a trip card. So it could be that y'all are going on a trip. Um, you know, just kind of like a, I got to get away from this. I got to, I got to step outside of this and breathe for a second, you know, um, is really kind of what that feels like to me. Oh my gracious. That was like a whole chunk. Okay. Let's see what else we can get for Aries. We have the Ten of Pentacles, the Chariot, the Ace of Swords, the King of Swords, and the Knight of Cups. Yeah, Aries, I mean, I kind of get the feeling that, like, whatever this, like, devastating experience was for you, where there was just, like, a lot of, a lot of illusion, a lot of, you know, like, just kind of holding on to something that wasn't really meant for you, and because of that, really just kind of witnessing as things slowly fall apart. And, and I want to say that, you know, like, again, it's this like coming into this truth that you really need to move in a different direction. If you're going like the, like the solid truth, you know, like the Alithia truth, like the big T to the little T's that like, it's time for you to move in a completely different direction. I mean, the chariot card is is, you know, like big changes. Um, and I feel like you're, you're making big changes toward something that you love. You know, I feel like you're kind of like, you know what, it's time for me to really go towards something that I love. There's like this, like this curiosity and Aries, it could be a relationship. Um, it could be, you know, like a business endeavor, you know, pinnacles is typically financial. 
Um, but whatever it is that you're moving towards, I think that it's something that's way more aligned with you. And because it's more aligned with you, you're going to be more successful with it. Um, you know, so I kind of wanted to say like, take a deep breath, you know, like it's good. It's fine. It's just, you know, maybe this, like this little bit of residual exhaustion that you're just trying to kind of like clear out of your energy and, and, you know, step away from. What else can we get for my Aries? My, or Ace of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, and the Lovers. Yeah, I mean, I think you're making a, a choice to really go towards what you want. I mean, the Lovers card can be a romance card. Could be that my Aries, some of y'all are finding, you know, like a, a new love that you're really, you know, super excited about. Um, but I, you know, you've got an ace of wands and an ace of pentacles. You've got the 10 of pentacles. I really do kind of get the feeling that there's a possibility that you've just been working on something for a while, a project or, you know, uh, you know, a business endeavor, something that really is kind of setting you up to, um, you know, feed your, your entirety. Um, you know, like instead of putting all of your energy into somebody else's business or putting all of your energy into, um, you know, somebody else's. Um, idea of a relationship. You're like, you know what? I'm going to do it for myself now. I've got this, you know, and I'm going to fall in love with me and I'm going to fall in love with my life or I'm going to fall in love with my job. Um, you know, like, like it's not my responsibility to do all of these things or to carry this burden, um, you know, for, for another person. Like I need to do, I need to do me. <laughs> new year, new me. Okay. You know what I mean? Like that's kind of the energy here for my Aries and I love it. Okay. Let's do a card from the good tarot. Good tarot. <laughs> the seven of fire. Yeah, I mean this is this is imagination and and creativity and and you know like really just kind of imagining what can be. Um, you know the judgment at the bottom of the deck of Santa Marta here, and it's kind of this idea of like like you know what your idea of how things were supposed to be done is not in alignment with mine. Is really when I what I want to say. You know like it's kind of like. You can try and align a dream with somebody, but if they don't work well with you, your energy doesn't align, your approaches are different, your communication isn't that great, whatever the, the problem was, it's just kind of this idea of like, you know what, I see beyond your vision now. Um, I see beyond your vision and I see my vision. Um, and I, I, again, love, I think that's fantastic, Aries. It feels very empowered, like you're taking control back of your life. What else can we get for my Aries? The tower. Yeah. You guys have been going through an end. I mean, you guys are experiencing a lot of, a lot of, um, heavy energy, uh, lately, or, you know, you're coming out of that energy of just feeling like, can anything else go wrong? You know, like anybody else got some shit they want to throw my way. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like, I feel like that's kind of where you are or where you've been. And you're just so fed up with it and so done with it that you're like making a, a very big choice to go towards something that you're really passionate about. The Nine of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and the Four of Cups. Yeah. I mean, I do kind of get the feeling that there's this idea of like, you know what, I'm out, I'm doing my thing, I'm pulling myself out, up out of this, you know, like destruction that you left us in, you know, whether it's a boss, a coworker, a lover, a friend, you, but it's just kind of like this big old, fuck off, yo. <laughs> you know, like I've got things to do, you know, places to be, people to, you know, network with, um, you know, I've got things to do and you are no longer my problem. <laughs> okay. Let's do an archetype for my Aries. Um, I'm going to start doing weekly reads. So definitely please give me a, you know, like hit the subscribe, subscribe button, um, you know, give my video a like and help me get out there again. Um, I really, really do appreciate it. So your final cards are the Venom, the Underworld, and the Heart. And Aries, I really do kind of feel like, like this doesn't even... I feel like anything that this person can throw at you or, you know, and obviously take it how it resonates with you be on either side of the story, but 
I'm going to read it how it comes through. Anything that this person can throw at you, I feel like you are like, you know what? I'm safe in my my little place over here. Like, I've created a, a boundary that you can't breach. I I left all, all of your bullshit behind. You were dealing with some, some serious shit. And you were done with it. Love it. All right, Aries, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope this resonates. Please give me a like, share, and follow, and I will see you again soon. Bye.